JV, what do you like about it? I I mean, first of all, I know there's been a sort of a lot of reaction around, oh, there are no Titans, so there are no Titan mech robo things in this game. Uh-huh. Uh, there are no pilots, so you're not doing parkour. You're not running you're not doing wall running, but even outside of those elements, just moving around in a respawn game, like the act of moving feels so different compared to other first-person shooters. You slide it, for 45 feet. Yep. Yeah, uh, it's just faster, like even just general movement without sliding. Like it just feels nice and breezy, and I really like the gunplay too. So just on yeah. the basic sort of, you know, the bare bones stuff feels really good. Like yeah. it's just, you know, it's it just feels good to play. Uh, I feel like the powers, you know, at, you know the, the character-driven powers inspired by stuff like Overwatch feel really nice too, and they all complement one another. Um, so you have like Bangalore, who's basically the soldier 76 of this, you know, roster. Right. Uh, her power is she has like a smoke bomb missile that she can fire and the rocket explodes and covers like an entire field in smoke. And that's great for like setting up ambushes or like reviving your partner, like creating a distraction to revive your partner and stuff. And all these characters just have all these sorts of abilities that sort of interlock together. And Mm -hmm. they push you to use it like faster than I expected. Mm-hmm. It's one of those things where it's like, oh my God, I should yeah, just be spamming. I was saving it at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, just let that L1, at least on the console thing, just fly as often as mm-hmm. possible. Yep. Like, you know, if Trailblazer, is that the robot's name? Uh, Pathfinder. 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 Just like using his grappling hook as much as possible. Like there's no reason not to. That cooldown is so quick. Yeah. By the way, I should say, Leo has been playing a lot in the booth too, so please chime in at any point here, Leo. Thank you. I was clearing my throat, but that wasn't to get involved here. <laughs> okay. Well, you have the floor, sir. No, you don't. Uh, Dan Tech, what do you <laughs> yes, think sir. about this as Mr. Battle Royale? So I love a lot of things about this game. For, for one, the, the, the most obvious thing that's noticeable immediately as someone who plays a ton of Battle Royales is how easy it is to communicate important things. Yes. Yeah. And, how, and how well it does that through the U.S. And I'm not just talking about enemy here, let's go here, some stuff here, you know, tier three helmet here. That's all very important. But also just other small and subtle things like uh, color-coded death boxes. Yep. So you know exactly which one you should hit first since it's yellow, right? right That's got the really right. good stuff yeah. in there. Hit that one first and then go to the gray and the blue boxes. Like, Or even if you're on the run and you've only got a chance to loot one box before you're, the circle's closing in, yeah. you go for the high tier box. That's and even it. having the color-coded loot, not for rarity, mm-hmm. but yep. just for ammo types. That's yep. so helpful for it trying really to learn is. stuff out it of the is. way. But I, the ping system, I do think, is ping brilliant. Ping system's yep. amazing. Having it be adaptive, where if you ping an item, then all your buddies will know exactly where it is. Getting it to just, like, double-tap it to change from, hey, we should go over here to, hey, there's an enemy over here. Yeah. Like, that subtle difference is so it key. It makes a big difference. And when you're, like, you know, at, at PUBG and Blackout, it's like, hey, there's a Tier 3 armor here. Come yeah, get and it. And they're like, where's here? Where's here? It's well, in the no, house. Well, no, you can set it. And you can notify it, people in Blackout. You can put a marker, but if it's yeah. a multi-layered house, you don't really know, you right? You can see it like, the floors. It has, like, the uh, teal look to it's it. It's not quite this. It's not the same. It's not I, as I good. play with the same guys, you know? And it's right. just, like, it's so much more fluid uh, here in this situation. Yeah, I think that's probably my favorite thing even more than the powers is the ping system because as someone who's always kind of shied away from other Battle Royale, like, I've played squads and duos before, but... I don't really like doing it r- with random people. Yeah. This is the first like squad based battle royale that I play with random people and because of the ping system I feel okay like I can depend on these people we can communicate without having to deal with each other's probably obnoxious personalities. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean I don't like to talk to strangers in a multiplayer game. It's just I like doing that with friends but you know. Yeah. And the jump the jump man thing is yeah, great too. Yeah, the jump too. master. Jump master. Yeah, yeah, just being able to like have one guy yep. in control of it at the beginning or gal and you can break off if you want to, but if someone's AFK because they're going to the bathroom or getting right. soda, like you're all you're going to the, the same, same place. Spot. It's so yeah. nice. It, it is. solves so many problems. Yeah, it yeah. is nice. I love that now we just have to get used to the word jump master as a battle royale <laughs> thing, but it is a very smart idea. Even if on base PS4 at least, it looks so janky during that phase. And and just um, the last thing about the ping system. It's yeah. just like Compared to other games where we have to sit there and say, 355, behind the tree, yes. Yes. by the wheelbarrow. Yep. No, it just tells you. He's right there. Right. That's where he is. And another thing about the ping system. Yes, Leo. You can go in the inventory, go to, say, your sniper that doesn't have a sight on it, and just click the little sight thing, and it'll say, looking for optics for a sniper rifle. Oh, I haven't yep. Voicelessly, yet. it'll do that for your teammates. It's amazing. It's so smart. Oh, that's really I also that, really yeah. like that there's like just an automatic thank you option whenever someone gives yep. you something, so you don't have right. to like dig around for it. You're like, oh, yes, thank you. 
Right, right, right. Or just being able to hot swap all your attachments onto your new guns, yeah, stuff yep. like that. Yes, so without having without having to throw them all on the floor and yep. then pick yeah. them all back up. And, see and that's what fit. I mean by Blizzard Royale. Like yeah. these are things that you see Blizzard do mm -hmm. with genres that they're moving into. They always Absolutely. simplify and streamline and just improve. Which I think Blackout did in a number of ways yeah, from PUBG. Sure. But I mean, talking to Treyarch, they definitely we got the sense, especially in the answering lingering questions uh, Gameformer podcast with with uh, Vonderhaar, but just talking about like that controller is just being overwhelmed and it's sure. so difficult with Blackout to like, okay, how can we make the inventory system better on consoles in particular? And I feel like just the small tweaks for Apex Legends, it's so smart. And it's like, God, how can we get that ping system into Blackout now? How could they possibly <laughs> map that onto that sucker? Yeah, that's been kind difference. of my growing, uh, that, that's kind of the impression I've had while I've been playing it. I've got like, 15 plus hours of just doing that constantly is that it's going to be hard to go back to any other battle royale because of like those features aren't in there. Like I really want the ping system in blackout. I really want the jump master system in blackout. Hmm. That sort of thing. Like I really like these streamlined features even more than the character powers, which are still really cool. Yeah. I was actually jumping back and forth the last couple nights between Apex Legends and Blackout. I still prefer Blackout by a mile. Mm -hmm. If I don't know if it's just all I want from Battle Royale games is the adventure. Mm -hmm. and I feel like having more open spaces yeah. with the vehicles in particular, more downtime, which seems crazy because mm -hmm. Blackout is already so fast, mm -hmm. but it just feels more my speed. I do Apex miss Legends. that. I do miss that in this game. Like the map is my least favorite part of the game. Yeah, it's I'll not a great. That. They're, they're, for all the stuff I love about the game, which is a lot, the map is one of the two things I think I'd call out as, as not being the best. It's an aesthetic bummer. It is. Like, it's just all apartment buildings and swamp lands and military bases. And that's Mud it. and like just burned down trees. Yeah. And it's just, that's yeah. like the most notable spot on the map. It's like, oh, cool, a scorched forest. Why isn't there more variety like this? It's cool yeah. that they tell you, like, you know, there's tier, X tier loot is that's in this great. area. But, you know, honestly, I can't tell the difference between, like, you know, Slum Village and Skull Village. And it's just like, you know, where it's wherever yeah. you're fighting. Yeah. You know? Right. I, I, I do like, though, that I feel... Compared to other games, I think it might be a combination of the movement and how hilly and how many interiors there are that you can hide that a sniper's not going to dominate this game. Like, I feel like when you get to the end of Blackout, so much of the map is just flatlands, especially if you're in the desert area. It's just whoever's got a sniper rifle and who can ever fire, you know, with true, you know, decent aim is going to win. Yeah, that. a little bit. It definitely seems like they're emphasizing optics less. Maybe just haven't played enough, but compared to like the average optics pickup in like Blackout compared to Apex Legends, I mean, it. There's a lot of games. I think there are any a lot more flanking opportunities in this yep. game than yeah, there are in other BRs. Because if you try to assault a sniper roost in another game, you're, you're going down. You're just going to die, and right, you're, you're, right. Uh, your teammates are going to laugh at you, and it's going to be terrible. But through the combination of abilities and other things, you can get behind the opposing team much easier in this and sort of like attack them while your other guys are taking the and attention. And then you can down them and do your fatality, which I learned I last night does not make you invincible. That's okay. <laughs> it's really, you got to make sure yeah. you're by yourself it's, before you go for It's such a small, that. subtle thing, but I really love the fatalities. Uh, too much, in fact. I will often put myself at huge risk in order to get the fatality. <laughs> it's a smart way. Just Oh, go ahead, Leo. Same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really you may point. proceed. Uh, no, it's a it's a smart way just to remind you of what your character looks like, which this game does a lot to try and push you towards cosmetic purchases, which it's incredibly generous about to begin with. Yeah. But then also the smart thing is having characters on the banners, right? Just mm -hmm. putting the character front and center in this first person game as much in, as possible is a really smart move. It's overall. cool seeing the champion banners too, because when you've won yeah. your last round and then you're featured up on those banners in the world. What's yeah. that like? You get extra it's experience. It's really good. It's pretty nice. <laughs> and you know what? I don't think you actually need to win. Because we were second place one time, and we were still, you were champions still the champions for the next one. Because I guess there was no other team that had won that was coming oh, in. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's my assumption. I love the little thing, too, of them just letting you know when the champion has died. Yeah. 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 It's great. Although, I don't like that they double it. Because, like, the announcer says it, and then I don't like that your character says it. And I feel like those character lines, I could go for about half of those. There's They're a good. lot of great content. You know, the character lines and the, and the sound, I think, are great. Like, it feels yeah. really crunchy when you nail somebody in the head with a sniper rifle. Like, And then he says a little quip. Uh, yeah, yeah, the quips are cool. The quips are quips cool. Are cool. I don't know okay. if the characters saying the quips are cool. That was my uh, other thing, other than the maps. Like, okay. I think there is such an impressive amount of character work in this game, and all the subtle world building ways where you're, you know, putting your own personality onto it uh -huh. or whatever. Well, you got to put your own personality into it because they don't have much, in my opinion. Well, but the, the, the robot the, the, is happy. There's no Tachanka here. Like, that's the okay. good thing. You know, like there is no <laughs> that's, like that's true. There's no awful character. They're all semi-useful. <laughs> yeah. um, you'll obviously gravitate to the ones you like, but they started with a small group, and I, I feel like you can already see like natural counters are going to be able to design around mm -hmm. right sure. yeah it's weird it's just uh, there's so much room to expand with characters here but yeah. it's weird for characters like oh god uh spooky guy in the upper left whatever his name is caustic thank no no bloodhound. no, no. Oh, bloodhound. bloodhound thank you bloodhound yeah. yeah where it's like 
he can detect traps. Yeah, he's and great. It's like, well, wait a minute. Like, I how many him. traps are even available? Traps. He is part of no, my but traps as well. He's the core three, in my opinion. Yeah, I love that. Guy. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh, well, like after after two days of gameplay, yes. I've like getting to detect enemies, I totally get. But like that traps thing was just that one thing. The enemy like, oh, detection they're add so is many so incredible. Like his here. his ultimate in the final circle is unbelievably. It's game winning. Really? Almost every time, in, in my opinion. Okay. Combined with the other two best characters. Which is the medic? Which is Lifeline. Lifeline. Is actually yep. the best character in the whole game. Yes. And, like, and at no, no contest. And then after that, you got Gibraltar. Um, oh, really? Oh, got, really? That Gibraltar. In sniper battles, that, odd, that free shield that he gets can make a big difference. Okay. I don't like Lifeline's medic power. I, d- I don't like that it's a stationary thing you got to go walk to. I-, I-, I feel like to fit into the- I was talking to JV about this, it would have been so much more interesting to me if it was like a little hover bot that is actually, you can shoot it down if you're on the... Uh, on mm-hmm. the offensive and you're seeing it go over to somebody like yeah. having to go walk and stand by something doesn't I failed to revive you one time yeah. I, feel, you... I feel like if that thing followed you around it would just be way too strong yeah yeah yes. it's got a little bit of a tether it's got some range to it so you can kind of plant it if you're planning on holding out this little area a little bit so I feel like it kind of gets that middle ground a little bit but the real key to her I, so far for me has been just you stack all of the accelerants on her to get the ultimate faster mm-hmm. and those okay. get, get those drops down as soon as possible because they've yeah. got purple armor in it every time and it's right. just like that's a huge edge in a close fight. I, I really like that you can use that as bait, too. Oh, yeah, yeah like you, you, definitely totally. yes, you definitely can. You definitely can. It's so good. Like, just to uh, get Caustic or Wraith in there wait, and just and you lay set a up trap on it. or, like, ambush them, it's so fun. It is yeah. very good. Dan, uh, how's it stack up against Blackout in your mind? <laughs> it's two days in. It's, I know, it's so make impossible. the call. I'm ha- as, a, as a squad-driven battle royale player, which I am, because yeah. I never play solo, right? So as somebody, this game is, like, inherently squad-based, which is great for me. Uh, the few times I've played solo, I don't think it stacks up. I think you've got to have this. I think you've got to have two friends to do this. I, yeah. I've won games with with pubs, but like the other games I had with pubs were nightmares. People break off and run away, or just scream into the mic. The insanely. second they break away from the jump master, <laughs> right. it's like, oh boy, it's we're, like, well, one we're, of these. we're behind. Okay. The, or, or they leave after you've got their banner and you've been heading to the respawn point to try yeah. to get out. There's like, eh, <laughs> that's I've the biggest problem here. right now. Bye. <laughs> people <laughs> bounce so fast after they're dead, and it's so. Like, I think if you've got a dedicated two others to play with it's definitely in competition i i've been i've been having a blast absolutely it's it's the new game right now yeah it's hot right now we're in the honeymoon stage right right. let's right, see right. how that pans out but yeah. right now it's my go-to battle rail we should talk about that recovery thing a little bit it's very bizarre in their debut uh video drew mccoy the producer says we couldn't make a battle royale that doesn't have respawning it just doesn't make sense because the respawn yeah. right i Hey-o. guess i don't know if they're going for that necessarily but just design wise it's it is a weird learning curve to get used to okay i need to go pick up this tag then bring it to that thing over there and then they'll come in with absolutely nothing yes just a pistol will be nice <laughs> in that like down but not out mode in blackout you got a right. pistol at least and i, I, I kind of like that though yeah i, like I, I do too. like it yeah i do like it because it gives you some incentive to stick around you're doing other than just like especially if your teammate's going to go all the way right yeah at least there's a chance you can get back in and there's still pressure because they can't grab that banner anytime like they've got a clock where they've got to get to your body before it runs out and, you're and then it's good. a long five seconds of someone holding down a button when a sniper might be able to take them out or something while mm-hmm. they're respawning you it's weird uh to get towards the end of a game and it's for the players left it's just a question mark and I assume oh, that's yes. a factor of... They don't want you to know how many people are it's exactly remaining. Yeah. yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I ended up liking that because I remember seeing that at the preview event and going, oh, that's interesting. And then like three matches in, we got down to like two squads. And it was like, how many of them are there left? Is it just one guy? Is right. it three? Yeah. How screwed am I? You know, it's right, real good. Right, right, right. Uh, I won my first Battle Royale game in this game, Apex Legends, of course. And if it's only 60 players, so it maybe is. it's not that impactful overall. Mm-hmm. Are you happy with the amount of players? <laughs> I am right now. I think you could use like 10 more because okay. there, I think there's a lull period. When you drop, there's a lot of hotness. And then typically in a game, we get a lot of like, we get some downtime in the middle where we're just loot, looting, a lot of looting. Yeah. And then we end up fighting several other similarly geared teams in a, in a major area once it pushes us there. And we, we're hungry too. We don't like sit back. We're not like, you know, we're not like, hey, let's like hang out on the edge of the circle. We're like, let's go find the action. Let's go to the drops. Those cool little ships that fly around. Like, Those things are yeah. wild. I landed on one accidentally. I'm like, what is this? I'm fighting other people like, up here? If you're really hungry, you drop right onto that thing. Yeah, That's yeah. That's like the hottest drop there is, right? It's fun, and It's yeah. not that intelligent because the loot on there is not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, though. It yeah, is. Yeah, it's one of the weird things Bert and I noticed when we were playing, I think, last night is it feels like the loot algorithms are kind of off sometimes because yeah. we landed in one area... And it said it was like high tier stuff, and it was just auto shotguns. Literally yeah, just like every four item shotgun. was an auto <laughs> shotgun. Oh, God. Uh, so I, I wish, I hope they kind of fix that a little bit. Yeah, because I feel, I feel like, like every... blackout. That, that for me so far, that's like one of the few areas where blackout just dominates 
this game in terms of like if I drop into an area, I know at least like usually there'll be a gun. There'll be like armor or a grenade or something. Like I'll have a combination of items I can use instead of just Oh, it's just all guns. It's yeah. just all of the same guns. I'll take three Mozambique shotguns. Yeah. Here yes. we go. Yeah. Let's those keep are, this those are tricky. Or we have like three pistols that we find. And yeah. it's like, can there be three different weapons in this area? Yeah. Okay, but nailing We're, someone with the Mozambique is really good. Look, is. I love yeah. shooting that gun. It <laughs> yeah. looks very all, cool. All three yeah. shots. You better land them all. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. The one thing I really do like is that they have the concept of like ultra loot. Which you're not gonna see, you're gonna yeah. see it like every twenty games maybe. The perk loot, yeah. But what the, is this? The level, this the, the yellow Golds. tier loot, yeah. Oh, okay. The gold loot, mm -hmm. and they all have like special effects that none of the other items do. Like with the um, the, the knockdown shield, the yeah. yellow knockdown shield, you can actually self res yourself. Yeah, the backpack makes you feel or uh, heal like twice as fast. Mm -hmm. That sort of stuff. Yeah, it's basically a purple with a perk on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I got a gold sniper scope that was six times and had a threat indicator on it. Yes. So you could be looking over this huge field and see people highlighted clearly in red. That's oh beautiful. my God. Like this squad was trying to lose us through that scorched uh, forest we were talking about and they couldn't because I could track them so well with that scope. Yeah. That's nuts. I had That's the yellow awesome. shotgun once. It was brutal man i was just like just, it hurts people. the mastiff yes yeah yeah cool. it's also there are also like legendary uh attachments that aren't optics or barrels that affect the guns mm -hmm. like there's one for the peacekeeper which is like that six barrel shotgun the peacekeeper is amazing that will yeah, like close <laughs> all your shots and basically turn that gun into a rifle yeah instead of a uh you know a shotgun spread and it's just devastating like you hit them with one hit and they're dead unless they're wearing purple armor right right leo do you think you like this game more than blackout at this point oh yeah Really? Yeah. That's surprising. To, to, to say, I didn't play a ton of Blackout. To say something reductive about please, it, please do. it's, you know, a very polished PUBG in the in a lot of the fundamental ways of vehicles and shooting and the, the parachuting, you know, it feels a lot like PUBG, but, yeah. but tighter, obviously. Yep. But this feels like the first actual step forward for Battle Royale that I've seen. Like, I thought I was tired of Battle Royale, but I think I just wanted someone to fix all of the problems I had with it. <laughs> Uh, Bert's what's crazy is I feel like you kind of cooled on Blackout because you're like, ah, it's just, uh, I'm yeah. sick of the Battle Royale genre already. No, it, it just felt too similar. It just felt yeah. like, oh, a AAA version of a, it's like the templates right there. We're just going to take it. At least Fortnite had the building, you know, like it felt different. Yeah. Something about that just pissed me off. But Apex Legends, it yeah, feels different enough for you? it feels different enough. Yeah. That's interesting. And JV, you're working on the review. Yeah, I'm working on the review. Okay, maybe at some point this week? Uh, mm. Yeah, that's the idea is to have it out before this week's done. Okay. So we'll see. Can yeah. I tell a story of my favorite moment? <laughs> Oh, please done. do. Please do. So it's it's like that world building I was talking about. Uh huh. Wraith has a passive ability where she can she gets this warning. She hears mm -hmm. a voice talk to her. S right. Spidey sense. Right. When you're under attack or about to be, and that the description says you think it's on your side. Yeah. And that doesn't always come up. You know, lots of times I'll see somebody before the voice even warns me. But there's one time where I was aiming down my scope at somebody across the creek. And they hadn't seen me. And then the voice goes, sniper, get down. And then I just sprint forward and a bullet whizzes past my head. Like <laughs> wow. barely misses me as I duck into the back. That's from awesome. Yeah, that's really, really cool. cool. What, what does it mean that it's always or not always on your side then? I just don't get that. It's she, The description is just like she hears a mysterious voice warning her of danger. It's just she flavor. She thinks it's on it's her side. It's just flavor. Okay. Yeah. So there's not well, anything funky where it's That's setting up for you. a natural counter where they're going to create a character that can whisper there sweet nothings into Ray's yeah. yeah. and lure her somewhere or something. Yeah. That'd be awesome. That sounds very fun. Hey, Apex Legends. It's yeah. free. It is free. And it is. was made in Source. It's mm -hmm. the first Source Battle Royale. And the servers Ooh. function perfectly. Yeah, I know. This, is this Almost an EA perfectly. game for real? It's crazy. Yeah, I, I've had a couple of weird connection errors. Yeah, yeah. So, while, while I was at the preview event, when I asked Drew, one of the questions I asked him was, so how are you guys feeling about servers? Because this was literally Anthem had just, the Anthem demo had just crashed and right, burned. Right, right. And it was like, well... We're really nervous. This is how I know Drew isn't lying when he said EA had nothing to do with the game. <laughs> <laughs> how do you guys feel about the timing of this compared to Anthem? It's it's EA always does this. They stack every. That's like how they're programmed. All the sports games come out in like four weeks. All their shooters are always right on top of each other. I, d I don't know why. Is it like an end of the fiscal year thing for this case of like, well, we got to get in before March. Let's just go ahead and I go really for it. I really don't know. I, you know, maybe they saw the battlefield numbers and were like, Respawn, can you guys get this ready a little bit quicker? Yeah, that could I be. I don't know. But hats off to Respawn. They did it. They got it ready. And it's, yeah. it's crazy stable. That was just a clip from a larger show called The Game Informer Show. You can find it on iTunes, Google Play, or GameInformer.com. We take the fun opportunities and exclusive information from Game Informer magazine and boil it into a show that airs every Thursday with exclusive cover story information, developer interviews, a lot of fun stuff. So come love games with us.